Right, Hernando County deputies are still looking for the shooter who killed a 17-year-old girl one week ago and injured her adoptive mother. 17-year-old Isabella Scavelli was part of the tennis team in student government at Hernando High School. That's where we find News Channel 8's Brittany Muller who joins us live from the school with the latest. Brittany. Good evening, Josh and Jen. Isabella Scavelli was a junior here at Hernando High School. She was also on the school's tennis team. We spoke with her tennis coach who says she made a big impact on the team. Red was her favorite color. We've got some red wristbands today, so we'll start wearing them this season. Isabella Scavelli's tennis team is staying strong as they mourn the loss of their friend. Isabella had a way of just being friends with people. Her coach, April Brown, says Scavelli was special. Isabella was joy. She was light. She would dance all the time. She would just come out with silly things, and you couldn't help but be happier when she was happy. But things at school are, are tough. You know, she'll be missed. Deputies say last Tuesday night after 1130, Scavelli and an adult woman were shot at this home on Hazel Avenue in South Brooksville. Neighbors heard at least six gunshots. Scavelli tragically died. Family tells us her adoptive mother was the other person shot. Investigators say she's been released from the hospital. My detectives have been working pretty much 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. Uh, doing a tremendous number of interviews, probably in the upwards of 75 to 80 different interviews. Sheriff Al Neenhai says while no arrests have yet been made, his deputies are making progress in the case. This as a community remembers the life of a young girl lost too soon. You're never too young to make an impact. She meant a lot to them. You know, they meant a lot to her. It's a wonderful thing being a coach and getting to see that kind of stuff. Coach Brown also says the school, the campus, and uh, other teams have been honoring Isabella to remember her life and legacy. This comes as authorities continually search for Isabella's killer. If you know anything about this case, give the Hernando County Sheriff's Office a call immediately. Reporting live tonight from Hernando County, Brittany Muller, 8 on your side.